Hi, I'm Jake and this is One Week Giveaway. This template is available for free by the link in description for one week on my Gumroad page. It's a good idea to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the next template for free as well. Let's have a quick preview of what this template has to offer. And after the preview, I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so we have our Adobe After Effects software. Let's go to File, Open Project. So this file is available for free for one week from the date of the publishing of this video. And you'll be able to find these two projects. First one is for the circular logo and second one for rectangular. So let's start with the circular. Select it and click Open. So as you can see, we have these both compositions of to render 4K and to render Full HD. So first of all, we need to go to File, Import, File, and choose our logo. In our case, it's circular, as you can see. So let's select this circular logo and click Import. Then you need to open this Your Logo Here composition. Left mouse double click on it and just left mouse click on your logo, hold, and drag it here. As you can see, we have these borders. So you would know that if you would want to make this logo bigger, for example, you can select your logo and press S to see the scale. You can make it bigger if it's too small. Don't be afraid to make a lot bigger than 100%. It will work fine. And you can always go to, to render 4K and see the result here. It's a good idea to change this from full to auto because when we are going to render this video out, it will be in full resolution. But for faster performance, it's easier to work in quarter resolution. So as you can see, we already have this kind of animation with our logo. We can always go to your logo here and make it smaller if you would like to have it smaller. And also we have this ability to apply some text here, as you can see. So I want to make this logo a bit bigger like this. And then we can go to your text here. By the way, if you cannot see some of the panels like this one, effects controls, you can always go to window and enable it from here, effects controls, or any other panel which you can see on my, on my screen. So let's go to your text here. Here you can just left mouse double click on it and type any other text which you want. So my logo or my text, you can type it here and go to render 4K and see how this text changed. So in my case, I'll leave as it is. And second thing which you can do is to click here to enable transparency grid so you could see the transparent part. And you can select this text box and click here and it will enable it. So let's change to this selection tool. And basically now you can just simply change the color of it just like this if you would want to have something like watercolor and go to render 4K and as you can see we already have it. What is cool about this text box that you can type any text and it will still resize to your text which is really handy. And also you can select it and press T to make it less transparent or apply more transparency. In my case it was 55 and as always, just check selection tool and change to any other color which you want. You can leave it as black or you can disable fully just by clicking on this eyeball. As you can see, we also have these kind of shadows here on the text and logo. And we have this control layer, which we can use to amplify this look even more. So let's select this control layer. And basically with these three check boxes, we can choose whichever pattern of water we want to use. So basically let's uncheck this one and check this one. It's important to uncheck the one which you don't use because it will mess up the expression. So just make sure to enable just one by one. As you can see this first pattern, second pattern and third one. And you can just scroll through or press zero on numpad to preview each pattern and see what you like best. 
So I'm just gonna scroll through. This looks nice. As you can see, we have some water going over our logo, which looks pretty cool. So what we can do next, we can colorize on this water even more. So for example, we can click on this checkbox and change to any other color which you want. So basically here you can change the color and as you can see the shadows react as well, which is pretty cool. And you can always change to any kind of color, this saturated one, if you want to this kind of black and white look. And basically it allows you to customize even further. And what is cool about this, that you can even use this brightness and contrast. So for example, you would want to make it brighter, as also you can change this contrast to make more contrastier look if you want. And also you can apply these brightness and contrast even without the colorization. If you will just unclick this color change, it will reverse to original colors, but it will not affect this brightness and contrast. But if you would want to use these two effects, you would need to click here to enable the colorization and just set this blend original color to 100%. So let's set to 100%. And now as you can see, this brightness and contrast works on original colors, which is pretty handy to be able to adjust the brightness and contrast to get even more personalized look. You can also go to your logo, select it, and go to effects, color correction, curves, and make it brighter or more contrastier if you want to match this look even better. So as you can see, it got much brighter. Here it blends with the colors of the water and it got much brighter with our curves effect. Okay, so finally, when you get your look which you would like, you can also apply some music here, drop it here. You also will find the text document with the link to the music which you heard in the preview. And once you're happy with this result, you can choose the resolution 4K or Full HD. So basically by choosing here and go to composition, add to render queue. And basically you can just uh, use any preset which you like. For example, MP4 is most is most popular one and just select where you want to save it and click render. And also let's take a look at other project is this one rectangular one. So just select it, open it. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same, but here you can apply text and more rectangular logos. So let's left mouse double click here and apply this logo, open your logo composition and drag and drop here and disable this text. So basically this is how easy you can change to your logo rectangular one. You can also press S to make it smaller if you want. And as you can guess, you can even change to this text and type whatever text you want. Take a look, you can see that it has a bit of gradient. So basically you can choose the selection tool and go to effects controls and change the color of this gradient. If you would want to have any other color. Also, we have this control layer. We can select it effect controls and change any other pattern as we did previously. So we have also three patterns. These settings works exactly the same as I showed you with the circular effect. Basically, you can just enable the color change and apply these presets. And you can also render in any resolution 4K or Full HD. And by the way, if you would use the circular one, you can also use text here. You can just select this horizontal type tool, create a box for it and type your text. You can make it bigger in character panel. So let's make sure to see it like this and adjust it as you like and change to whatever font you want. And basically now we can use instead of logo this text and this one we can just disable. And as you can guess, we can also apply on this text in our logo some kind of gradient. So let's go to effect here, generate gradient ramp. We can change it to radial, set it one color here, swap the colors. So it would be here white one, here dark one, and change to any other color. 
So this is basically how you can apply this kind of gradient and it will apply on your text, which is also looks pretty cool. Also, you can find all kinds of in-depth extended tutorials on my Skillshare and Gumroad pages. My Gumroad page not only has a wide variety of tutorials, but also all kinds of After Effects and Premiere Pro templates. Subscribe to my channel to not miss my next one-week giveaway. Make sure to click on the bell icon to get notified when a new video is online. Like this video and leave a request in the comment section of what template you would like me to make for the next giveaway. Thank you for watching!